Hi everyone, finally here is the video which you all have been requesting. How to deploy the Python trading bot on TradingView. A few months back I created a video where I demonstrated how the Python trading bot makes me 4 lakh plus profit. If you haven't seen that video, please do check it out. I have explained the concept and the technical part in that video and this video is going to be a setup video for that Python bot. Before starting the video, I would like to apologize for not making the video for a long time as I got busy and couldn't find time to make awesome content for you guys, but no more. I am going to post regular videos from now on, so please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Starting with the video, you can also follow along with me. I have provided the GitHub link in the description box below. So after downloading the code from the GitHub, it will look something like this. So this is the github repo so you can download the file from this repo and you can start with me so once you have downloaded the zip file so those who don't know and new to github this code part and download the zip file so when you download the zip file it and extract the zip file it will have all these files with with us so in this our main file is main.py so this is our main trading bot which is uh, being used for our trading okay apart from this you can read this readme file which has all the steps what is the prerequisites and how to install all this part so generally you will need a python version which is like greater than 3 you will need the nscpy module selenium and web driver manager and for chrome driver and other readme things you can visit this chrome driver site to get started and you can use the trading view code from this part so this will provide you the api i've explained all these parts in uh, in my previous video where i've uh, shown uh, demonstrated the live video and i have explained the working so basically it will start at 9 am and it will go till uh, 3 pm so you can uh, read this part and there are steps to run as well but uh, since many were having some confusion so i am going to make this video so that it is more clear for you guys so basically starting from the top these are like all the modules which we have used so as i said like uh, if uh, while running you see any error like if nscpy module not present or trading uta module not present or some web driver module not present so basic thing what you have to do is uh, just just type pip3 install web driver if web driver manager is the package name and it will install the web driver manager for that uh, directory so moving on so this is the part where it is uh, so so many of the syntax are like python and selenium based so those who don't know python and selenium i'll recommend them to read something about it but it is very simple in english format and i will explain each and line to you guys so that in future if you want to modify you can do it on your own so uh, os dot system is basically operating system uh, for the system it is giving us a command figlet figlet if uh, sometimes in your uh, machine figlet is not present so figlet is a command line so if i can show you here so figlet if it is not present you can install figlet on your machine so if it is uh, on your mac uh, os you can actually use brew install figlet uh, to install it but i already have and similarly if you have linux windows or different machines you can check but this is not important here uh, you can omit this part as well or you can comment it out so in uh, python we use hash symbol to comment it out if you want to comment this part you just have to place a hash symbol before the line okay so in my machine figlet is already present okay so if i do learn devops so it is going to present like this so that is what it is going so it is uh, like uh, giving in capitals python trading bot so if it uh, it's just for the show part it doesn't do anything with the code okay and then we are finding the today's date you can see it is for the year month day and the what is the date today okay and the, here are few of the parameters which we set before uh, running so last order we are starting with a cell because when you open uh, 
trading this is basically for intraday trading so whenever you start the day you don't have any stocks so last order counter you can say this counter will always be set to sell and then uh, i'll explain you further how this will change okay so these are few parameters so suppose you want to modify this code to make it like positional uh, trading as well where you want to buy a stock today and you want to sell it after two days or three days uh, then these are variables will come in handy so i place this code it is open to modify it is an open source code and it is for you guys only so, okay and the next part is to load the chrome driver so here uh, we are using chrome driver manager which we were installing so in earlier version of the selenium or uh, web driver chrome so it was requiring uh, the web driver to present physically on your local machine so when i say local machine it is your laptop or uh, computer from where you are running this program so since uh, it has updated and we had to update this code so right now it will install or it will serve as a cache uh, chrome driver on while running the python and then you are running driver.get and here is a trading view uh, website link so basically it will open a chrome browser it will maximize the window and then it will open in dot trading view.com and then it will go to sleep for 60 seconds so why it is going for sleep uh, for 60 seconds that i will explain while uh, running the program so till then let's just move on ahead with the code part okay and now ssw so basically it is the handler like uh, whatever uh, it is just a variable name uh, this is trading view handler which you get from the trading view website as uh, if you go to the readme part uh, i'll open this on the side um, we don't need other files so i'll close that part and in the trading view if you go to this part it will give you what all is required for the handler part so basically four things are required symbol screener exchange and what is the interval you are looking at so those who already know trading they know what is interval 5 minutes 15 minutes 1 minute or 3 minutes 30 minutes 1 month 1 week so you can set those interval here and these are predefined values which will be present in the documentation on trading view website so basically uh, for this uh, video uh, i was working with sonata software and i explained why i selected sonata software for my previous video okay and screener is for india if uh, there was one uh, subscriber who was doing for bitcoin so you remember bitcoin is not uh, listed in india and if you want to do that you have to find the right skin screener uh, maybe you have to search what screener you have to use with uh, trading view and if you want some help on this you can directly contact trading view for that okay and in exchange we have like bsc and nsc uh, bsc and nsc in india so i have selected nsc so it will fetch you the nsc price and the interval which i have selected five minutes which i found out optimum for intraday trading okay and this is uh, a function whatever you see with uh, def uh, that is a function so it is basically uh, it is a timer which will again and again fetch some value which i will explain why it is used to for the countdown so the first statement is uh, while true so basically in every condition it will uh, execute as this is a very positive uh, loop where you are finding uh, current date and current time uh, in this format and then you are checking uh, if current time is greater than or equal to 930 and less than 5 uh, like 310 so why it is 930 you can change it according to your value and whatever time you want this program to start the actual analysis and this will go to 310 and you can move it to like 320 325 as well that is the last step and this is the analysis part so sswb we have already set this is sswb where we have set all these values and uh, the get analysis function what it does it will fetch the sonata software from nsc at the interval of five minutes what is the rsi and other uh, indications so we are setting everything to rec rec and indicators we are checking as rsi and then RSC we are using as moving average which we are using uh, EMA of 10 days uh, to like calculate this part earlier we were also using MSCT but I have explained why I omitted this part in my previous video if you still haven't watched that video go and check that uh, video out you will uh, understand more of this so next is the basic logic 
uh, which will tell our bot to buy or sell anything so if we are so there are a few different things like rsi if, and basic range which we are picking if rsi is greater than 30 and it is between 70 so that is uh, the best optimum range to buy a uh, stock and ema is uh, the moving average it will give you indication for buy or sell so if it is for buy and our last order is sell so since we have already started with the sell uh, in the first condition if this satisfy and it is already sell so it will buy one stock of sonata software which you can already change if you are working for different stock you can use that stock name this is just a print statement it will not do anything for you it was just for indication okay and then we are moving in the last order to buy condition so so that in the next time we will know like uh, we have already bought one stock now we have to sell it okay so and then comes this three values okay so these basically uh, i'll explain the third value later uh, focus on these two values so these two values i can explain more while i'm running the code okay uh, let me just move this part so that you can um, look at data one go okay so basically driver dot find element if you guys know selenium it must be very easy for you to know what does what it does so but just read the english statement it is just finding an element so this is w3 schools and uh, this is a basic web page on the right hand side you can see a web page and you see it is divided into different divisions so dev is basically a division part in that we have h2 mp and all so we can have multiple div in uh, different section like if i go and add one more div section here okay and suppose i am adding one more uh, header for sample header and if i run this see it is creating one more division and on this we can see if we go to inspect element and click on this uh, selection tool and when you come to this part it will give you on the right hand side you can see we have a division tag and h2s sample header okay and similarly if you go down this is another division with the h2 okay so you can think of it as a path to a folder in your uh, laptop so similar way the division series is a path to a button which we are going to click and i'll show you what button it is while running the program and similarly this is the second one uh, which we are finding a button and then we are clicking that part as well okay and this is the current price which we are still getting from the web browser in the automated part and then we are printing it okay and then the next part is to take profit and loss so basic strategy here what i applied is if the price uh, from current price plus eight rupees uh, then we are taking a profit if it is minus five uh, we are taking a loss so uh, so once we have bought a stock then we have to wait for the signal to again uh, let us know if we can sell the stock so this is the part where it is doing so this is the countdown function what we have written here okay so basically what it does it is doing a countdown until we can uh, get the analysis done or not so we are running for every five seconds so every five seconds it is going and then again getting the analysis and then we are reading the rsi and uh, em okay so these are the conditions and if rsi is greater than and then we get a sell signal the current price is greater than take profit or if the current price is less than uh, amount which we defined here uh, if it is there then we are selling on stall and uh, stock and then we are again resetting the last order to sell value and what and if condition not favorable it will keep on printing this part so what do you mean by condition not favorable either it, uh, it will go to this part to buy either it will go to this part to sell but sometimes ema doesn't give any signal or ema and rsi rsi combination doesn't match in that case it will show condition not favorable and it is waiting for the condition to become favorable for either buying or selling the part okay or else if it will check the current time if current time is greater than 310 we are closing for the day and we will check the open profit display okay so this will print the open profit so for those who are strictly want to know uh, how to change this code 
for their trading experiences i would suggest them to change this part in which if they want to do in india nse trade so they have to put the symbol and a cbsc here their interval time okay in this is interval 5 10 15 minutes you can check that on the website which i have given in readme file okay apart from that you don't have to change anything okay if you don't want to use rsi and ema you can change this logic as well wherever you see rsi and ema you have to do this part okay so wherever the logic is written you can change this logic according to you and all the rest condition will work according to your buy or sell conditions whatever is true okay so now next step is to run the program so i'll run the program and show you how to execute this so we have this main.py here so since we are using python 3 so we will use main.python3 main.py and if you hit enter it will open a browser it is trying to download the chrome browser it is saved in the cache for us okay and soon we will see a chrome driver opening so it has opened the end.trade view you just have to click here and sign in okay so whatever you are using for this one you have to just sign in so as i said it will uh, wait for 60 seconds you can increase that time if you are uh, slower you want to log in little late so just after login click on charts after um, click on chart either you want to connect your broker or uh, in this case i am going uh, i will connect to paper trading so paper trading is something where you can uh, test your code or test your automation so after clicking on this if this window is not open you can open this window from this order panel thing and if you want to increase the units so in the code it will show it is buying one unit but basically you can make it like 110 or something so just change the unit and uh, just leave it so this is it and uh, based on this five minute this is just for your reference five minute one whatever we have set in the code like five minutes ten minutes twenty minutes it will pick that value so once after coming to trading you if you change this sonata software to some other symbol it will it will just go and click buy and sell for you but uh, remember in the code we have already defined this is going to pick uh, the analysis for sonata software so you have to change this value whatever symbol you are using here so if you change the symbol here and you are not changing in the python code it will still work but that logic will not be correct because mm -hmm. the buy sell signal or ema it, everything is based on five minutes interval for sonata software symbol and mm -hmm. uh, if i open tata motors or some other soft, uh, stocks here so you can see the value and it will click on these values as based on these values okay so these two values what uh, when i was telling it will find the element so these are basically this buy and sell buttons so first if it is going to for a buy it will click on this buy option okay and then the second one is to click on this only buy 10 nsc stocks for this trade this is for that button so i hope you like this video uh, tell me in the comment section below if you still face any problem I can create a Q&A session for you guys, a small Q&A session for 15 minutes just to answer these questions. But uh, remember guys, the main motive of this channel is to promote uh, DevOps lifestyle and not trading. I myself is not a, a professional trader. I do invest in, uh, please take advice from your financial advisor or home.